watching Michaela and Shayna online. online. Welcome to Roger Neal Style Hollywood 17th Annual Academy Awards Suite at the beautiful Le Hermitage Hotel in Beverly Hills, benefiting the Gentle Giants Rescue and the Performing Arts Magnet at Hollywood High School. We are with Corey Shepard Stern from the film Open Heart. Well, it's so nice to meet you, and you are looking beautiful today. Thank you. I feel like a little shabby compared to you two. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. So are you excited for the Oscars this year? I am very excited. Um, I'm a first-time nominee, and I can't believe my good fortune. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm happy to be nominated, and I'm thrilled with all the other nominations are amazing, so I feel like no matter who wins, the world is going to win by getting a great, uh, a great winner. Well, congratulations on your nominations, and I hope you win. Thank you. So, what are you going to wear to the Oscars? I don't know yet what I will wear exactly, but I have some things in my closet that I'm that I'm trying on every night, and then trying on the jewelry, and then moving my hair around, and trying to figure out what what will what will look best and not look weird. Whatever you pick, I'm sure you're going to look. Well, maybe you guys should come over and help me, you know, help advise me. How about that? Because you look like you have great fashion sense. Sure. Okay, good. Good. Right. It's a date. What were your dreams as a child? I wanted to find stories that the world didn't know about and get those stories out. So that was my dream when I was, well, how old are you? I'm 14. You're 14, and how old are you? I'm 12. You're 12. Okay, when I was 12, I found a book that uh, was in the bottom of a bargain basement kind of deal at Kmart and I read that book and thought this book would be an amazing movie and I tried to call Hollywood and get them to make it into a movie but they were like you're 12 years old what are you doing and um, it turned out that later and by calling Hollywood I like I think I called Walt Disney Studios or something wow. but later that book did get made into a movie um, like seven years later I had nothing to do with it but it made me think hey I think I have good taste I think I can you know think of things and try to get them made into movies so I just did open heart which is a documentary and I also just produced uh, executive produced a movie called Warm Bodies the zombie oh, movie that oh, was that, one. Yeah. I heard that was like looking so cool well, I Honestly, think yeah, it it's really big cool. with you guys big with your age group so go check it out it's about a, a zombie who comes back to life through the power of love Oh, my gosh. Oh, I, I heard of that movie, and my friends and I were talking about it at school saying, oh, my gosh, we want to see this. Go see it. It's it's PG-13, so you can definitely go, and you can probably go. So, yeah, uh, yeah go see it. What were your parents' dreams for you? My parents' dreams for me, um, well, my mom came to Hollywood to be an actress when she was 19 years old. So 19? my mom, her dreams for herself were to get into Hollywood. And I think she's very happy that I'm telling stories now. And I think my dad just uh, would be very happy too. He's passed away now, but I think he'd, he'd be smiling down. If you could change one thing about the world, what would you change? Oh, I would instantly give everyone enough food, water, happiness. Um, that's what I would change, the big things. I would, I would definitely make sure that that people went to bed with enough to eat and not in any kind of pain from, from any sort of disease. Yes. If you were on a deserted island, what three things would you bring? Um, my boyfriend. Uh. <laughs> uh, sushi. Yum. An unending supply of sushi and uh, probably a Kindle with an unending supply of books. And then I think I could be happy as long as there was water. Regular Kindle or Kindle Fire? Uh, Kindle Fire. Yeah, yeah, we're getting fancy here. Do you have any spiritual routines? I do. I meditate every morning. I do a loving kindness meditation where I start by the easy people, the people that I love, and I send them loving kindness. And then I go a little bit harder with the people that I, yeah, you know, might have given me a little bit of problem. And then I send them loving kindness. And then I go all the way to the people that are driving me absolutely crazy and that I'm, you know, don't really love all the way. And I try to just send them love and kindness. And that's, that's my spiritual routine. That's, oh, that's nice, nice of you to do to the people you don't really like. Well, it's really good for me because it always makes me in a better mood and makes makes me a happier person. So it's good for the world, but it's it's also good for me. That's true. Good energy. Good chi. Good vibes. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your interview. And since you are a star today, you get your very own 
Walk of Fame. Oh Star my gosh, Fame. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm going to take this right uh, home and, and put it in my house. And I have a walk, I have a star now on the Walk of Fame. Thank you guys. Welcome. Congratulations. Bye.